Crafts from Cornerstone Crafts. Today we're going to make Winifred, also known as Winnie the Unicorn. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, like and subscribe. It really helps our channel, and if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Following this will be the supplies you need, and then after that, I'll make them. Thanks for watching. Alright, these are the supplies you're going to need for Winifred the Unicorn Gnome. First step, polyfill. Then you need some type of flesh colored knitted. I'm going to use that for the nose. That's some felt I'm going to use for the hat. Ping pong balls, I'm going to use one of these for the nose. You can find them at the dollar store. Unicorn headband, I also found this at the dollar store. I'm going to use the ears and the horn. Some ice cream salt, that's to weigh it down so that the gnome doesn't fall over. Or you can use rice, rocks, marbles, whatever you want. Um, some pretty fur for the beard. Uh, I'm going to use the sock to cover up its shoes. This fleece, fleece for the body. Pipe cleaners. Scissors. Glue gun. Rubber bands. And various flowers. Let's get started. Alright, first up we're going to make the body. You take a piece of 13 and a half by 8 and a half inches fleece on the eight and a half side take a strip of glue from your glue gun fold it over let's sit for a couple seconds then you take a couple rubber bands and just gather it up like that. And then you turn it wrong side out. Like so. Nice flat in the bottom some. You take your Cup or so on the bottom. Your polyfill. I kind of want them short and chubby. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, it looks good. Gather it up at the top, like so. Take a couple rubber bands. And just do it as tight as you can. Okay. 
And that's your body. Next up, we're going to make the nose. Take your sheer knitted fabric. And it is, this piece is 9 by 6. Since it's so thin, I'm going to fold it in half. And then, just like the last video, put it in your hand like that. Take your ping pong ball. And then just put it through like that. Make sure it looks alright. Take your fucking rubber bands. And right around the top. Like so. And get your nose. And you take this extra at the top and just trim it off. And you take your body and make sure you have it opposite side of the seam. Opposite side. And then just glue it on. There's lots, lots and lots of glue. And then just smush it in like that. And hold it because there's a lot of glue there. And there's the nose. Still wet, so be careful with it. Next up, we're making the hat, and we're gonna, I got uh, two pieces of 12 by 9, only because it's kind of thin, I want to have it, I want to have a little more body, so that way it doesn't collapse, but you uh, fold in half, just like this, like an airplane, this side's got a little, I cut that very good. There we go. Alright. Fold in half. Like an airplane. And take your glue gun and glue right up the middle there. Down like that. And then since we got since I have two layers, I gotta put another strip of glue right here. And you fold in half again like that, just like a paper airplane. And you take glue, glue it right up the center like that. Try not to get any of the hot glue on, hot glue on you, because it is hot. <laughs> Mom always says I need to get some of those um, finger protectors, but I never can find them. So, which probably would keep me from burning my fingers less. Anyways, there's your hat.
and just take that, fold it flat, and then just cut right there. Cut it straight across. That way it's nice and even. Then you want to take some uh, polyfill and stuff up in it. Fit it on your own, like so. I like to take a little spot of glue right here, and this all down and like that. And then I put a little bit on the back. I don't glue the sides yet because it's just easier to tuck the beard up underneath when it's not glued. It's already looking cute. Alright, next up we're going to do the beard. You take your piece of fake fur. This is a four and a four and a half piece. You take it and you fold it in half so you can find the middle. Then you cut just the back. Make sure you don't cut any of the fur because then it looks choppy. Cut about an inch. Slit. Hold it more. Like that. Like that. And then you take the bottom down here. Just to round it up. Round it off some. that off and then take the other side try and do it as close as you can okay. just like so And then I like to fold the top in just a little bit, gives it a little more shape. And glue it. Just fold it over. I guess I could cut it off, but it kind of gives it more volume up at the top rather than just kind of flat. So, then you take your gnome and this middle part here. Just tuck it up underneath like so. And then tuck the beard. A little bit underneath the hat like that. 
and then you take a little bit of glue and just glue it right right there underneath the nose and then the side and that side. Isn't that cute? And then I like to put a little bit of spot of glue down on the bottom just to hold it in place. And after you get done, I like I like to brush it out some. You can use hairspray if you want. But this far. These two little pieces I cut off. I'm going to take the, th the, the skinny side. And same with the other side. I'm just gluing up underneath the nose. Like so. Next up we're going to do the ears and the unicorn horn. These just rub right off of the headband. And I'm going to take some of this polyfill out. Oh, it's not quite as big. There we go. I'm going to take one of my sparkly pipe cleaners and do just a little spot of glue up at the top right there. Another glue stick. It seems like I'm always saying that. <laughs> Another glue stick. A little spot of glue. Let me put your pipe cleaner down. Just hold it for a minute. See like that. Then I'm gonna take it and wrap it around the horn. Make sure it looks, you know, you can do it however you want, but this kind of makes it look, huh, I like the look of that. And then just take a little big glue and glue it down. Like so. Cute. 
then we'll put right above the nose. Now this is the scary part, so be very careful. I'm gonna cut a little hole right there. Wish me luck. Barely big enough for the horn to fit through. See? And then just tuck the horn in. You can always adjust it. Nice and sparkly. <laughs> and this is why you left your sides unglued. So that way you can go up underneath there. And my glue stick keeps falling out. And add some glue so the horn won't fall out. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, next up we're going to do the ears. Same thing. Just put a little hole, hole on each side. Be careful you don't cut your hole too big. Make sure they're even too. Take your ear and tuck it in. That one's a hole too big, so then the ear will fall out. There's one ear. There's the other ear. It's so cute. And then just dab some glue up underneath on each side so they can't be pulled out. I'm making this for a friend of mine. I might have to make me one.
Cute. Now you can take the opportunity to glue down the rest of your hat over here, the whole side, just so it doesn't fall off. And I got two layers, I got two fills of glue. Take the sock and just cut the top off right there, like so. Cut it in half long ways. Down the other side. I think I need to get sharper scissors for the next video. These are not cutting it literally. Alright. There's your piece of fabric. I can take your shoe, just kind of tuck it all in like so. Start with the front and then that side, one side, then the other side, and then the back. Okay, that so looks like a little sh shoe. Do the other one a little bit slower. Don't mind the snorter, that's Jack's. Take it long ways, like so. Bring the front over the top, like that. And you take this side, bring it over that side. And take this other side, bring it over that side. Tuck it all in and it keeps it from undoing itself. Now you take this back bit right here and just tuck it all in. And like I said earlier, they usually have these shoes at the dollar store, but they go quick. So you could probably order them online. There's two shoes. I'm going to take take them and glue them on each side like so. And a bunch of glue at the top. Now I'm going to do it this angle so I can see it better. But just on each side of the beard. Just put it on. side. And there you go. Got two little feet now. <laughs> That's cute. I thought I needed something around the edge that looks too straight. So I decided to take the fur off of the headband. Just comes right off like that. And I'm gonna glue it around. Like so. It kind of brings in the ears more. I think that's cute. Uh, let me do that real quick. So we finished up 
Winnie the Unicorn. I think he turned out pretty cute. If you have any ideas for future gnomes you'd like to see me try and make, leave some comments or message me. Uh, and I'll see what I could do. If you um, have any questions, like I said before, just comment down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you.